Hi, this is Phil Parrots with Media Media Inc. Nationwide Barcode, and this tutorial is about how to track the source of your QR code links. Now, adding a traceable link to a QR code allows you to identify where someone saw and scanned your QR code. And this is especially handy if you have different marketing materials or have QR codes on different packaging and promotional items. Also really cool if you have QR codes on uh, business cards for your staff and you can figure out which one of your staff members has had the most uh, scans from their business cards. So there's a lot of applications. First thing that is required is that you have set up uh, Google Analytics. It also requires that you have enabled the new reporting version, which includes real-time live tracking. And this, by the way, is just amazingly cool for a lot of strategic business reasons. Now, after doing this, the first thing that you need to do is to create your URL. And the best way to do this is to go to Google Search and do a search for the Google Tool URL Builder. And this page will be the first thing that comes up. You click on it and you get here. So what we're doing is we're going to put in the website URL, uh, nationwidebarcode.com. We've already filled in the campaign source, the campaign medium. This is arbitrary. Uh, the campaign content and the campaign name, they give you a lot of good um, examples that you can use. And you can use this for other things as well. You can use this tool for pay-per-click. You can source links on, on advertising and everything else, Facebook, Twitter, you know, what have you. So then what you're going to do is you're going to generate the URL. And once you have this URL, let's copy that, you want to shorten it. QR codes have data embedded in them. The more data, the more clunky that QR code is going to look. It's going to look more crowded. With less data, the QR code will appear to be uh, to have more white space, making it easier to read when scanned. So the next thing you're going to do is go to the Google URL shortener. And you're going to paste that in here. You're going to click Shorten and you're going to hit control C. Again, the shorter the URL for your QR code, just the, the better that QR code is going to look. Then you have to create your QR code. We have a couple of free QR code generators on our site. You can either go to nationwidebarcode.com or mediamediainc.com. For the purpose of this, we are going to go to the Media Media Inc. website. Uh, you go under QR code strategies and right here is the QR code generator. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to leave the encoding at UTF-8. We're going to leave this large, low error correction, and the QR code type is a URL. We're going to paste that, and we're going to generate. Now, once you've generated the QR code, you can either right-click on it, save the image as, or scroll down, and you can download the image right here. Now, let me show you what happens. When someone scans the QR code, it reads the URL, launches the website, in their smartphone browser along with all of the coding that we created from the URL builder. So now let's go back here. We still have that URL in memory. Let me hit enter and it takes us to the nationwide barcode homepage. Now let's go back to Google Analytics. The new version of Google Analytics not only tracks who's been on your site and where they're from and how they got there, it has this real-time function, real-time beta. So let's go to Overview, and there we are. See, this is the source QR code, campaign QR code. That's me. I'm here in Reno, Nevada. And I'm, you know, I'm showing you the real-time data, but you can also go to uh, campaign sources, and you can, from there, you can see all of the historic data. For more information about QR codes, be sure to visit MediaMediaInc.com, and I really hope this has helped. Thanks so much.